guys. Today we're going to be doing a really beautiful song called Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Really wonderful song. So in this song, there's something very special about it that's different than what I've been teaching with you. And that is that we're going to be using our right hand instead of a pick. We're going to be finger picking, kind of like classical style, right? And he does use a nylon string uh, for this song. Although I'm going to be playing acoustic and it's okay whatever type of guitar you're playing. So, anyway, a very brief intro on finger picking if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, the right hand, if you look stuff up online, this is referred to as P, I, M, and A. And it has been since classical guitar has been around, which is for a very long time now. So, thumb, index, middle, annular. P, I, M, A. That's how we call it. And uh, there's a couple techniques we're going to be using in this song. We're going to be doing plucking which is where you play everything at the same time. And let's go ahead and just try that out, just to get used to it. So put your, put P on the E string, I on the D string, M on the G string, and A on the B string. Try to play them all at the same time. Keep the wrist high if you can, that's good technique. And fingers tall. Just play them all and see if you can do it with equal volume for each string. That's what we want. This is plucking. You can do this as many times as you want. Uh, and then we're going to be doing something with like alternating, kind of like we've done before, bass, chord, bass, chord. We're going to do that a lot in this song. Like bass, chord, bass, chord. Just go ahead and try that. And if you want to get used to finger picking, you can also just do one at a time. Just to feel it out. Alright, so that's my super brief intro to finger picking, and with that, we're going to go ahead and just go for the song, alright? So, I have a chart for this one again, and if you're unfamiliar with the notation, don't worry, I'm going to show you everything. In this song, in this chart, there's not much notation that I made for this chart. Um, there's just a little, a couple things on here. So let's go ahead and look at it, right? If you look at the intro, it's got these low notes, and these are the, the bass notes, this little bass pickup. And that happens on here, often. So what that is, is uh, open E, and then hammer on with the first finger, the second fret of the E string, and then open A. Okay, and that's going to start our A chord. So, the way I'm playing A in this song is with a bar. Okay, a bar on these three strings, because he does this, this thing, right? Try this. And then, um, D string, you can pick it, and then hammer on with the second finger on the third fret of the second string, and then the third string. That happens at the beginning of each verse and in the intro. Also the interlude. Okay? And then he goes into this E over G sharp chord. And how to play E over G sharp, it's basically just E major with G sharp as the lowest note. So you put your second finger on the uh, fourth fret of the E string. First finger, second fret of the D string, third finger, fourth fret of the G string, and pinky on the fifth fret of the second string. A really nice chord. You, you play all four notes. Okay? I like to play like this. So, like, uh, thumb, so P, I, and M and A at the same time. Just for this chord. And then, F sharp minor, and the way I'm going to play this chord is just with a bar with the first finger. For me, I think this is the easiest way to play it. So you can pluck all at the same time uh, the P, the thumb, on the low E string, and then these three guys, either on 1, 2, 3, which is F sharp minor, or you can move them over to the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th string if you want. That makes it F sharp minor 7. It's okay. It really sounds nice and flows well. 
both ways. You can even mix it. Okay? So that's how that one is. Let's see, then we have an A over E chord. So once again, I'm going to borrow my first finger still, move it back over, uh, just over the fourth, third, and second string. And now uh, this one has E in the bass. So we plug with E in the bass in the A chord here. Right? Then we have D over F sharp. We've done this before. First finger, second fret of the E string, open D. Second finger, second fret of the G string. Third finger, third fret of the B string, right? And then from here we have E sus4 and then E7. Now all you gotta do is remo remove your first finger and then play still on the same strings. Like this, so. And then for E7, you just take this guy off and put the first finger on the first fret of the third string and this becomes E7 and then back to A with that bar. That's how I prefer to play it. You know, you can play it maybe here. I don't know if that will be much easier. Um, but anyway, there's an option for you. So that's how to play the chords of the intro. And uh, let's go ahead and play it. So. And it's got a little pickup. A over E, D or F sharp. E7 sus, E7 A. Now we're in the verse. So that's how you play that. And then once the verse hits, um, it's almost the same thing. So the verse, we do that, let's do a little pickup first. You see the little, uh, you see the little bass line pickup, right? At the end of the intro. And that leads in. It's the same thing, right? E over G sharp. F sharp minor just before the actual measure. A over E, D over F sharp, A over E. Now we play E major, but I'm going to show you a special way to play it. Like this. Just the first finger on the first fret of the G string, and you're going to pluck these three strings. And then bass note here. Because then you have this little walk up where it says E6 and then E7. So it's like E major, and then just this little walk up. So second and third finger on the second fret of the third and second string. And then second finger moves up two frets. The first finger will come down on the third fret. So fourth fret here on the G string, and then third fret on the B string. So. See, I'm alternating two with the bass. All right, and then again, so A. E over G sharp, F sharp, minor. A over E, D over F sharp, A over E. Again with that E. And then we hit the chorus. All right, so the chorus, we go to the F sharp minor. Here it says C sharp over E sharp. Fancy, right? So what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna put it's kind of, you gotta make kind of a bar. This one's not the easiest, um, but it's just kind of how to do it. So first finger is gonna go. It's gonna bar on the first fret. It's gonna play this low note here um, on the sixth string. It's, it's an F note, right? It says E sharp. E sharp and F. They're the same thing. And then the third finger is going to be on the third fret of the D string. Now you're still barring, right? Not the easiest. We're barring this guy here for the uh, third string, first fret. And then the second finger will play the second fret of the second string. You could also play the first string if you want. You could actually just play these three with this bass note. So anyway, they both work for these fingers. That's that. And then it says E minor 6, right? So it's kind of like A7 actually with E in the bass, 
really, it's, it's the same thing. So second finger, uh, second fret on the D string, third finger, second fret on the second string, and you can play these uh, D string, G string, and B string. So alternating with the bass, and then these stay when we go to F sharp seven, right? These stay, and we put our first finger on the second fret, and then our pinky on the third fret of the G string, and this chord is F sharp seven. Right? Now if you look also there's this little melody. So he plays so and then we lift our third finger to make it open B and then back down. And that's what that little part is. Now B minor seven. So B minor seven is a bar chord. First finger will go over the first five strings of the second fret. And then we have our third finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Second finger on the second fret of the second string. And that's it. You can play all of them. But you can also just play the inside four strings. Or these guys. Either is fine. So we got this guy, right? B minor 7. Alternating with the bass and four and one. So now we have E7 sus four. You can see there's a lot of stuff happening uh, rhythmically with this, but what we have is a bass note, then a rhythm plucking, and then a bass, and then a hold, and then so it's like and how you're doing the fingers. It's actually just like the B, B minor 7, except for we just lift our third finger up and then play E open. So bass, chord, chord, bass, chord, and then the little walk up. And that, if you see, there's also a repeat sign, so that takes us right back to the intro. So we play the intro again. So. Okay, so that that explains those sections, right? The intro, the verse, the chorus, and now let's go ahead and check out the other spots and then play the whole thing, right? So then we have the interlude, uh, right? So, okay, so after the chorus we repeat, right? We go back to the intro, we go back to where that, that bracket is, we start on the right side of the bracket, not where the bass lines are. Um, and then we go through the verse again, the chorus again. This time we, we keep going. We go to the interlude, and the interlude is basically the exact same thing as the intro, right? So we play that again. So at the end of this interlude, we have a different bass line, right? A different little bass line walk up, and that goes into our bridge. So this one it plays open A, B note, the second fret of the A string, and then third finger on the third fret there, because then we're going to play a C chord. So it leads us into C chord. Right? Now this also, this whole section, this bridge section has a special picking pattern. So we're going to play bass, or thumb, so P, I, and then M and A at the same time. And then I. Bum, 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 with all these chords. G over B. We've played this before. Um, second finger on the second fret of the A string, pinky on the second fret of the B string. It's a really nice sound. So G chord with a B in the bass. And then A minor 7. So it's like A minor, except where we just take our third finger out, it becomes A minor 7. Now, D of F sharp, but I'm going to play it a different way. So, so this time, because of, because of the way it, 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 it flows with the song and the chords, second finger on the second fret of the sixth string, third finger on the 
second fret of the third string, and then pinky on the third fret of the B string, right? This way, for this one. Sometimes we play it with these fingers, but this time it's going to fit really nicely if we do it like this. Whichever is more comfortable for you, but I'm going to do it like this. So we also play these inside strings, the fourth, third, and second, with the thumb here. So again, same picking pattern. Because then we play a G chord. Now we can just move our third finger to the third fret of the E string and play a G like this. And it works just the same. Alright? And then back to the D of ref sharp, same way. And now we go to that E the way I showed you before. So in this way, once we get to this E though, we're back to this. Um, the same type of alternating bass, bass note chord. But on the first beat, you can play them all together if you want. So, and then alternate, alternate. Okay? So that's all the stuff for the bridge. And now we are into like a solo section. And really what happens in this song is he kind of plays the melody, the vocal melody in here, but you can solo here if you want. If you know how to solo in the key of A major, you can do that. If you don't know that, what you can do is play the minor pentatonic, right? Starting on the second fret in F sharp minor, because these are relative keys. So this will work just fine. If you want to take a solo over it, minor pentatonic from the second fret. It'll sound cool. Alright, but anyway, let's go ahead and look at the chords there. So the chords we have here, uh, they're just the same as in the verse, right? So we've already done these chords. So, right? D of F sharp, A of Re, this kind of E, and then we repeat it, alright? So we repeat that part. Next part in the song, we go back to the chorus. So we've done the chorus already. Next we go to the interlude, uh, which is the intro, right? So we've done this before. Then we go back to the verse, and then we go to the chorus once more, and then we end it with an outro, which is just an interlude. Let's do the outro real fast though, because I think it's, it's nice, so. Because here, we can kind of slow down, right? And then A. And I like to end it like kind of pretty, you know? You can do whatever you want. You can just strum straight. I like to do with that bar we've been doing, but then play with the pinky on the fifth fret. That's an A note as well. It, it makes a really nice big ending. All right, so. We have gone over all the parts in the song quickly, but we have gone over all the chords, all the parts. So you can, you know, go ahead and dissect each part until you get all the chords. And then when you're ready, come play the whole song with me, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and play the whole song. All right? And you can watch once if you need to and then jump in the second time. So let's go ahead and play, right? From the intro. A little slow, right? Ready? D over F sharp, E sus, E7, A. Verse 1. E over G sharp, F sharp, A over E. D over F sharp, A over E. E, the special way, right? And then the walk up. Chorus, F sharp minors. Okay. C over C sharp over E sharp. E minor six. F sharp seven with a little melody. B minor seven. The rhythm, right? Bam. Uh, uh, bass. And then we're 
at the intro. F sharp minor, A and breathe. So we did the repeat, right? All right, now verse again. dissect all those parts you know you know listen to the original recording uh, as much as you can and learn from this video and you'll be on your way all right so good luck with everything practice and we'll see you in the next lesson